a watering thing. So I guess you fill that with water and because it's made out of terracotta, it will slowly release into the soil and slowly water these plants. And as you can see here, massive house plant section goes all the way around there. So lots of house plants to check out. Let's begin. The thing I like about Dobbies, they have a nice way of presenting their plants. They're really interesting. You can see already the house plants looks nice and healthy. You've got this ficus elastica rubber tree. What's this? Livestona rotundifolia. A little bit crispy. Not seen that plant before though. Just down here, Musa Dwarf Cavendish, four litre, 25 quid. Looks like a variegated Stretzelia, Bird of Paradise. Nicely decorated plants on here. Elephant's foot. How much is that? 17 pounds for an elephant's foot. Calafea for 15 pounds, a little bit, little Calafea, a little fern in a pot. Selection of plants down here. Is this a green philodendron? It's a buffos, it's a devil's ivy I think anyway. Doesn't say what the price is of that. Which is pretty annoying. It's quite healthy anyway, it looks like there's some Philodendron Birkins reduced now 749. Looks a bit sad. It was moist. Don't know what the issue is with it. So there's a few reduced, reduced plants. Got some crispy edges there. A little rubber tree. No price on that one. A little fiddle leaf fig, six forty nine for that. Not sure why they're reduced. Money tree, reduced money tree for twenty pounds. Fiddle leaf fig, looks a little bit ropey, 27 pounds. Quite expensive actually, seeing it's just reduced. It's a San Severio rocket, reduced to 15 pounds. So anything I like here that's reduced, I've got most of those plants. That snake plant's looking a little bit ropey come out of the pot. Is this an alocasia? Just a green one. 15 quid. Another alocasia. These ones have got some yellowing leaves. Bit of a shame. Some money plants. Again reduced. 20 quid. Monstera, I believe, quite a large one, 30 pounds. That's the newest leaf, lighter green color. There's a larger Monstera at the back there. How much is that? That's 100 pounds, quite expensive in this shop. It's a nice hanging one there, that's a asparagus Fern. How much was that? Twenty-five pounds. This is doesn't say Aspenium. It's got some bugs ish, bug issues on the middle leaves, so I'd avoid that. You have to check out things like that when you're buying a plant. 
If they've got buggy shoes, I think they're bugs anyway. If you know any different, let me know in the comments. They look a lot of bugs to me, little black bugs. So it's a nice selection of hanging parts. A string of pearls or string of beads for 23 quid. String of spades, 20, 30 pounds. Didn't say what that is. A little baby plants as well here. Comes in the pot, I think. Mini peperomia. Feels a bit dry to me. That's 12 quid. Seems a little bit expensive. Echeveria is reduced, 8.49. Seems quite expensive for quite a little plant, but I suppose you get the pot as well. So all of these are reduced, I think. It's a Hoya Kerii, double heart, 9.49. Got a few of those. This is quite nice. A selection of succulents. For 23 pounds. Remember seeing this the last time I was here, really interesting looking plant. Begonia Masso, Masoniana Rock for 17 quid. Interesting foliage. A white wave. 15 pounds, quite small. Are these Monstera Minimas? Yep, 17 quid. Look at this. Begonia Mast on the Armour and River, 27 quid. Really interesting leaves. These down here, Peperomia Black for 20 pounds. I think I've had one of those before and it did die on me. Not sure what I did wrong. One of the first plants I bought actually, before I knew too much about plants. A Splenium, seven quid. That's quite nice. Some more philodendron type plants. Philodendron scandens, non variegated. So that's seven quid. How many stems have you got in there? Probably five stems. That's the thing you want to check when you go houseplant shopping. Check how many stems there are in the plant. Look at this. These are beautiful. Botanica Athalandra Green for 13 pounds. Beautiful foliage on that. Bit of damage on that leaf, bit of a shame. Hmm, I like that plant then. What an interesting plant. One day you look after it. Bit of damage on that one as well, unfortunately. Might come back for that. Calafea, Maconica is it, and this one's called. Macayana, reduced from 35 pounds, that was, quite expensive. Reduced to 17 pound 50. I think it's because it's got the telltale crispy edges coming through. Selection of more Calafeas. Large Dracaena for 30 quid, large Variegated snake plant, 30 quid also. This looks nice. Spathophyllum diamonds, 20 quid. Nice variegation. It's all the rage at the moment, that kind of variegation. That's probably why it's quite expensive. Devil's ivy, is it? Or golden? Seven quid. Looks like five stems coming out of the soil. Looks reasonably healthy. Bunch of 
Um, Tradescania zebrinas, nice full looking plant there, 15 quid. Getting some crispy leaves though. Peperomia caparata for seven quid. Larger monsteras for 30 quid. Monsteras look very nice. Nice vibrant green colour. Got some ivy hanging here, 15 quid. And that's a little bit overpriced for ivy because they're much cheaper in Ikea. ZZ Raven, not got one of these. It's on my list, but that is 30 quid. Quite expensive. Quite expensive. Got another minima. Again, quite expensive, 27 quid. Look at the stems on that. Is that a zebra plant? Let's see what it is. I think it's an alocasia zebra or something. That is 30, 40 pounds for that. In this section, you've got some cactus, cacti. These have caught my eye. Flowering, I think. That's nine quid, euphorbia, lactea. Got a larger one there. How much is that? That is 15 quid, that one. Selection of cacti comes in the pot. How much is that one? It doesn't say. Why is the price underneath? You have to pick it up. 17 pounds. Don't have any cacti. I need to add to my collection. That one looks quite nice. I'm not going to pick it up because those uh, spikes look very, very spiky. They're going to cut me to pieces. I think the price is at the bottom underneath. Sonetio for 15 quid. Cactus Canarius, 25 quid. Look at this, 200 quid. Would you spend 200 quid on a, on a plant? Let me know in the comments. Does look nice and healthy. Cacti and Safari Terracotta Pot. Look at that. Agave Gemin Flora for £130. Is this a jade? No, can't be. Echeveria Pulvinata. Like the colouring on the edges of the leaves. There's a large jade at the back, 130 quid. Very, very much established, very nice. Not sure it's worth 130 quid though. Some more succulents. This one looks quite interested in the pinky purple pot. That is 13 pounds. Cactus in bright fleck, doesn't tell you what type it is, but looks dead interesting either way. Last time I was in Dobby's, I bought this plant, pickle plant. It's doing really well. This one's not doing so well. Crispy leaves, but my one's doing pretty good. No issues with it, quite easy to look after. Likes a drier soil, from what I can tell. More larger cacti. Yeah, that one looks beautiful. Let's see if I can find the price. If it's underneath, I'm not going to look, so I don't want to make a mess. That one next to it is 80 quid though. Furry looking one. There's one with pink flowers. More jades. More of these wavy kind of jades. I've got one of these. I recently outpotted mine because it was struggling. 10 pounds. You get that in Ikea probably for much cheaper. 
This one looks interesting. Proper desert style cactus. Euphorbia trigona, 10 pounds. So that is the cactus section. Really nicely presented though. I really like it, I really like this store, how they do it. And the pots really complement the the cactus plants, like those terracotta ones, they're really nice. Sansevieria ceramic for 17 quid. Couldn't tell you what type of Sansevieria it is. This one looks nice though, Sansevieria trefisciata, 15 quid. I don't know if that's a good price for that or not. Let me know in the comments if you think so. This looks interesting. It's got like a, uh, a watering thing. So I guess you fill that with water and because it's made out of terracotta, it will slowly release into the soil and slowly water these plants. Very nice way of watering. How much is that? No price on that, unfortunately. Quite interesting, not seen that before. Let me know in the comments if you have. Similar principle on that one, maybe. Saves you, saves you overwatering your cactus or succulents, which is quite nice, quite a good idea. This one's caught my eye, a little jade, golem jade in a glass bottle, 15 quid. That looks nice. Alocasia Red Sea Kit in pot, 30 quid. Really nice leaves on that. Nice ruby kind of purpley colour, chocolatey. Got a selection of bromelads in this section. Ooh. In a nice pot, that's quite nice. That is 27 quid. Little polypotria, Peperomia polypotria in a pot. Leaf's just fallen off it, so probably not the healthiest. That is 20 quid. And then you've got some Kalankoes. Four quid, they're always dirt cheap. End of their season, really. It's just another type of Kalankoe. No, it's a hydrangea. 20 quid for a crusty hydrangea. Some peace lilies. How much are these? These should be cheap. It's 10 pounds, you get a nice bright white pot. And they're flowering as they always are when they sell them. Purple orchids, anthuriums, nice selection. Reds and pinks and whites. That is 20 quid for these amphibians. They're quite nice. More orchids. More hydrangeas. I've seen hydrangeas like that. Interesting. What are these? Kakuma Slam Splash. 17 pounds. This caught my eye over there. Guzmania rocky flower, 17 quid. Really interesting flower on that. These look interesting. Kalankari. 10 quid. You see plants in this shop that you don't really see elsewhere, which is really good. Ah, I bought one of these online in my uh, online plant shopping video. Check out that. Chlorophytum. I bought it because of the, uh, the orange stems and green leaves. I would say that it's a fairly fussy plant. I'm not sure why, but the leaves tend to go black quite quickly. I think it's a humidity issue. I think it's similar to a calafea, where the leaves, like that one starting to there, they turn black and die. 
So I've tried giving it extra humidity by grouping it with other plants, but some of the older leaves are still turning black, which is a bit of a shame because it's a really nice plant, but just a little bit fussy. What's that? Look at that. That's a Askema Blue Rain. Fantastic. That is 20 pounds. Beautiful. Amongst the Calafeas, maybe this is the uh, fussy houseplant section. No. Oh. A reduced Calafea Orbiflora, 15 quid. Don't get sucked in and buy Calafeas unless you know where you're getting in for, into. Extremely fussy plants. Beautiful when you see them in the shop, but incredibly hard to keep healthy. You get things like this happening all the time with a calafea. Crispy leaves, as soon as you bring it home. This looks pretty. Calafea, see that looks beautiful, but I imagine if you get that home after a few weeks, you'll start to see some browning on the leaves, unless you know exactly what you're doing. Nice cute little plants, that one's 10 pounds. These are all ten pounds, I think. Succulents, echeverias, and the like. Jade plants, syngonium. That's not a peperomia raindrop. That's a syngonium. It's in the wrong pot. More hanging plants. Is that a satin pothos, maybe. Stickers on there. Scandapsis for twenty quid. Seems quite expensive to me. Hanging Peperonia, Fern Mix for 15 quid. They're quite popular at the moment, you do see them quite often. Is this a coffee plant maybe? Foliage, I wouldn't say what it is, but I think that's a coffee plant. Let me know in the comments if you agree. Some large peace lilies, 20 pounds. that Luke Luke's mix for ten pounds look at that leaf got issues that plant maybe another section this plant shop goes on and on so many house plants the biggest house plant selection I've seen in a shop really impressive Obviously got demand for it. Echeveria pulbonata, 15 quid. Epiphyllum, 13 quid. I do like those Echeverias actually. 15 pounds, tempted to buy that. We'll see. It's the same plant I saw over there. I don't think it is a coffee plant. Gardenia jasminoides, jasmine plant, 10 quid. This looks nice. Sonecho Himalaya for 17 quid. Nice full plant. Some more Calafeas. Some more green philodendrons. 20 quid, that's expensive. A non variegated philodendron for 20 quid. A little one. Come on, you crazy cat. That's not a good value for money. Some hanging plants. Last time I was here in Dobby's, I bought one of these. Type of pepperomia, pepper shots. 23 quid. Elbgrass Calafea, I do have one of these at home and this tends to be quite a good option if you do want a Calafea. It does have crispy leaves, or tips on the leaves, like that one's starting to develop on there, but it's not as bad as other Calafeas, such as that one. So if you're looking for a Calafea, an Elbgrass like that, quite a good option. That's 20 quid. More hangers. That's that. That is a 
platycerium oh, for 20 quid. Farkas Benjaminas. Apparently it's air purifying. Don't believe the hype. House plants don't really purify the air in your home. It's all a con. If you don't listen to it. Got a video on that. And I busted some house plant myths. It's complete nonsense that they purify the air. They don't. Not enough to make a difference anyway. So when you see something like that, air so pure, just a marketing gimmick. Check out the video. I'll link to it in the description. This looks nice. Calafena again. Is that a type of fern? Asparagus fern for 25 pound, quite a large plant. I think they are quite hard to look after though. They're so delicate, as you can see from the leaves. So that's that plant we saw over there. It's a stingray alocasia. And that is 25 quid. Really like the stems on that. Leaves may be a little bit boring, but the stems are very nice. Some more sand severias. And what's this? Alocasia black velvet. This is on my houseplant trends hot right now video. It's good to see it here. How much is it? £17. Quite cheap. Small plant. Doesn't look the healthiest. Really nice foliage though. Very nice. Sense of areas. Bayonet plants. £17, quite nice, variegated leaves, I think. What's that? Looks like a Christmas tree. Awakaria heterophilia. £30, never heard of it before. Let me know if you have. Some more ZZ Ravens. Parlour palms. All types of fern. And this is a begonia, begonia. Maculata whitey eye, 25 quid. And we've got some larger syngoniums in a hanging style pot for 27 quid. They look quite nice. And around here, the shop goes on and on and on, but we've got some more monsteras there. Lots of them we've seen in this shop. Some more of those pepperoni and pepper shots doing really well in my house since I bought it in my last video. Ripsalis horida, that's quite interesting. 23 quid. Got a large plant up there. Ooh, do I want to mess around with that to tell you what it is? It's not going to tell me. It's a nice, large Monstera. How much is that? 30 quid. That's quite a good value for money. Quite a large plant you're getting. Peace lilies, umbrellas. These are normally dirt cheap. It's non-variegated, and that's 10 quid. Quite a large plant you get. And you've got this interesting section here. These are air plants. Don't have any air plants myself. That's 13 quid. Nine quid in a little jar, air plants. These ones in here, nine pounds. Dead interesting. No idea how to look after it really. Never had one myself. Little heart-shaped foyer. 15 quid, it's a bit expensive for my taste. Looks like we've got some terrariums down here as well. It's a closed terrarium. 80 quid, 
open terrarium. I've made one of these on the channel, check out that video. Lipstick plant, I've got one of these at home but it's never produced any flowers for me. Those red flowers. So I've moved it into a brighter spot, so hopefully this year it will. I think it should have done already by now, with it being in the summer, June at the moment. Let's see how much that was. Yeah, I've got the price tags buried in there somewhere. Some bonsai looking plants. Bonsai Shinzium. 30 quid. Don't have any bonsais myself. Maybe I should start. No idea how to look after them there. Little propagation there. Of a Monstera Adansoni. That is 20 quid for that. They're making quite a margin on that. Some more terrariums, closed ones, open ones. Look quite nice, although they are very expensive. 80 quid for that one. Some more bonsais. Bonsai in a terrarium, 85 quid. The plants they have here are very varied. It's quite an interesting sculpture. These are that um, little bamboo plants they're selling in Ikea, but these look much nicer, much more interesting. 17 quid. Not quite as cheap as they are in Ikea, but at least they're actually doing something. We've got yet another section over here. I think they've got larger house plants over here. Kentia palm, again it's air purifying apparently, but that's utter nonsense. It's all based on a NASA study. It was in an airtight controlled environment. The results were inconclusive, that's 150 quid. Large fiddle leaf fig at the back. Looks quite healthy. My one's tiny that I've got at home. How much is that? That is, wow, 230 quid. Is that worth it? Is this a Calafea? It is, Calafea Network, 25 quid. Nice foliage on that. Selection of Dracaenas. 40 pounds. Large hanging Syngonium, 27 quid. White butterfly, oh, looks like a nice plant, a little bit crispy though. How many stems are in that? Or how many trunks are in that Dracaena? Must be about seven or eight. 190 quid though, for that very large plant. More money trees, more snake plants. Bird of paradise, how much is that? That's only 25 pounds, quite a large plant. Absolutely enormous Dracaena. 80 quid. More Monsteras. All right, so I wasn't gonna buy anything, but I did see this guy here, this Alocasia Black Velvet. And this did feature in my Houseplant Trends Hot Right Now video. So have a look at that. But this guy is on sale, it was on sale for £17. There was a few of them there and it did look a little bit ropey. So I said, I asked the guy, the uh, sales assistant, whether they were going to be reducing these and he did reduce it for me to £7.50. So I think all it needs is some water. The soil is very dry in there. I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but they were all very dry and all really limp. That leaf is probably too far gone, but the other three leaves, this is the best of the bad bunch. But the, these leaves don't look too bad, so I'm hoping all it needs is just a good drink. And then this should perk right up and you should start to see some new leaves. So £7.50 for a Alocasia Black Velvet. It was on my wish list, I guess. I think that's a good price. If you like this video, then check out my Wentworth Garden Centre shopping trip. Another really nice garden centre for houseplants, one of the largest ones in my area around Sheffield. So check out that video, I'll link to it on the screen. I'll see you there and thanks for watching.